This is my sewing machine. It is supposed to have this and it has the button hole foot. I'm not using it because this is it and I've looked up the manual. I can't figure it out. So anyway, this is what I did. I did a trial run with my machine. I have got my regular presser foot on and um, I have set <laughs> I have set the stitch width to between zero and one. I have it on stitch A, which is this one. This is a regular straight stitch. And if you um, and if you lengthen it out, it does zigzag stitches. But I've got it on stitch one. Um, the stitch length is between zero and one. And I've got the um, this is the the length between stitches so i've got it on one so it's barely moving all right i have already done a run, trial run here on my so this i've done a couple of trial runs this one this one i got a little so i wasn't straight there with uh with walking the stitch down but i think this is going to work if i can keep my stitches stitches straight this first one was pretty straight if i can keep the second one straight i'll have a functional buttonhole that's my goal now i'm going to do it on the dress fabric <laughs> And we're going to see if this works. I have marked where my buttons began and stopped. So um, I've done this on both sides. And I'm going to stitch it in a rectangle.